Introducing the Hazmat SCED, a decontaminable patient litter designed for use in mass casualty incidents. This extremely versatile system can be used on any terrain and assures minimal effort, especially for rescuers, in level A protection. The hazmat sked is a variation of the standard sked stretcher used for decades by rescuers in every discipline of emergency response around the world. Creator Bud Calkin talks about how the notion of the hazmat sked first occurred to him. The hazmat sked is made of the same material as the original sked, a specially designed polyethylene plastic used only by Skedco. There are three ways to use the hazmat sked, the single man patient drag, the shuttle system, and the mechanical winch system. The first system simply means a single rescuer walks into a hot zone wearing level A protection, dragging two deployed skeds behind him. When he reaches the patient, he rolls the patient onto the stretcher and drags the victim or victims out of the danger zone. Using this method in training, up to 25 persons can be brought out of a hot zone by one rescuer within 10 minutes. This is vital to rescuing victims in a hazmat incident where every second is precious. The third system requires the use of a mechanical winch called Skyhook. The winch crank arm can be utilized, or for greater efficiency, an electric power head can be substituted in place of the arm. In combination with a continuous loop of rope, this system ensures an even faster recovery in mass casualty scenarios. A knot passing pulley is anchored in or near the hot zone and as close to the victims as possible. A second knot passing pulley spreads the rope apart to prevent empty skeds from colliding with skeds carrying patients. The biggest advantage to this kind of a system is that the uh, level A rescuers don't have to take the time and energy to drag the empty stretchers back with the ropes that are attached to the foot end of the stretcher. The uh, continuous loop of rope drags the empty stretchers back as it hauls out the five patients at a time. This makes it a lot more efficient. So the level A rescuers are utilizing their time to save patients rather than pull stretchers back. But rescuing victims is only one aspect of what the hazmat sked can do. 
It is also extremely valuable in saving the lives of rescuers. One of the most important features of this system, uh, the skid itself, or having that skid, allows the level A rescuer to save his partner. If his partner goes down from heart attack or heat exhaustion, you cannot pick him up. Because if you try to pick him up, there's no way to get a hold and he just slips. And you're going to hurt yourself or him trying to evacuate him. But if you lay a skid next to him, lift his air bottle and roll him over onto the skid. It takes very little effort. Be sure that the complete level A suit is on the stretcher so when it's dragged, it doesn't drag holes in the, in the level A suit. And he'll be at decon way before the standby team could get zipped up in and get in there to get him. The hazmat skid is available individually, packaged in groups of two to four, in rapid deployment, high visibility, 14-inch diameter by 36-inch duffel bags, or palletized in quantities of up to 150 units. Disposable straps are bagged, boxed, and shipped separately. Once on scene at an emergency or training drill, the straps are attached to only the number of litters needed. The Hazmat Sked, a decontaminable patient litter designed for use in mass casualty incidents. Versatile, rugged, lightweight, and the best chance for saving lives in a hazmat or WMD incident. The Hazmat Sked from Skedco, recognized around the world as the leader in patient evacuation.